This is Twit. All right. So let's talk about CentOS and Azure Linux. What? Oh, we're, we're, we're just mentioning CentOS. We're not actually here to talk about CentOS. Um, so LinkedIn, for anyone that is not aware, Microsoft purchased LinkedIn a couple of years ago. Uh, so LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Microsoft also owns this whole um, cloud business called Azure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and which, they, which, so hey, we we have to we have to let folks know Azure is Microsoft these days. Like if you look at where they're making their money, oh, yes. Azure is where Microsoft is making its money. Continue. <laughs> Absolutely, That's just saying it, it's it's completely correct. Yes, so um, they have their own version of Linux. They used to call it CBL Mariner, and they renamed it to Azure Linux. Uh, so LinkedIn has migrated from CentOS to Azure Linux in the Azure cloud. Um, why is, or the couple of reasons that this is interesting, and I think the biggest thing that I like to see about it, you can be pro-Microsoft, you can be anti-Microsoft, you can agree with decisions they've made, you can disagree. Um, I think we all have various positions on all of that stuff, but... Um, <laughs> Because LinkedIn is Microsoft owned, that means possibly, and because of the size of LinkedIn, it, this means that it's possibly the largest dog fooding of their own Linux operating system. Mm -hmm. uh, so if nothing else, uh, it is good to see a company putting so much uh, investment into running their own thing that they're developing. Um, that yeah. feedback loop is very important. Yeah. And it, they didn't just simply migrate to it. They came in with their own changes. Um, for example, Azure Linux did not support XFS file system. LinkedIn runs on XFS. So they didn't switch file systems. They brought XFS into Azure Linux. Um, they just, as a side note, LinkedIn found that XFS worked with software RAID was what was working best for their needs. Hmm. Um, and they have a they have I have a link to Pharonix article which summarizes it, but then it also links to the LinkedIn engineering blog post if you really want to get into the nuts and bolts. Um, and <clears throat> they sum it up at the end by saying the migration of LinkedIn's fleet to Azure Linux was a strategic decision that entailed numerous considerations and challenges. Its successful execution yielded substantial benefits, ranging from cost savings to enhanced security flexibility, you know, all the important <laughs> bullet points. But they do get into, you know, some of the technical issues that they had to address to be able to migrate their stack. Um, one of the interesting, another interesting thing that they ran into was they ran into some challenges because Azure Linux does not have a GUI on top of it. Um, hmm. And they ran into some problems around that. Um, so they, uh, the developers have to rely on ID integration remotely connecting to the Azure Linux servers versus <laughs> I guess what they were doing before was actually running CentOS with a GUI on top of it for some of their development environments, which mm -hmm. is, all that stuff is interesting. It's interesting to see how you handle things at scale. Yeah. So it's just a so neat story. It's funny. The, uh, the IDE that has remote development, that's VS Code. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> which I've got to say, that part of VS Code is pretty cool. Like I do a it lot is. of development on a Raspberry Pi from where VS Code is running on my desktop and it uses the SSH plugin to connect and run everything on the Raspberry Pi. And that's, I, that's I nice. did the same thing with Alma Linux. Yeah, it's nice. So. It's real cool. Uh, I did not know that Azure Linux was RPM based. I probably knew this at some point, but uh, that sort of surprised me just now finding it. So it, it's, I guess that means that there wasn't a huge change going from CentOS to Azure Linux. Um, at least that part of the tooling was still the same. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Good for them. Um, I can't see myself running it anytime real soon, but I don't know, maybe in salt somewhere just to play around with. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>